problem with Call of Duty Warzone. You're definitely not alone from time to time. Some Call of Duty gamers report unexplained or random crashes on this game despite the fact that the game works on their device without problems before. In this video, we'll show you the tips that you can do if you're experiencing crashes when playing Warzone. When it comes to fixing crashing, freezing, or mistakes in Call of Duty Warzone, there are a few options to consider. The first thing you should do in this situation is to update everything. This means you must check for updates for Warzone. Your other installed software and Windows, outdated software or even Windows OS can occasionally conflict with games to reduce the likelihood of problems or malfunctions emerging. Keep your PC software environment up to date at all times. After you've completed the update process, determine if the source of the problem is minor or temporary. You may accomplish this by restarting your computer. For this, you need completely turn off the machine for 30 seconds. Unplug the power cord from the power supply if feasible to allow the system to complete a full power cycle. After that, restart the computer and look for the issue. If you have other applications or background apps running while playing Warzone, it might put strain on your system, especially if it isn't very powerful. You may immediately check if this is the case by using Task Manager. Here's how you do it. Open Task Manager by pressing CTRL plus Alt plus Del buttons at the same time. Under Processes tab, check the columns for CPU, Memory, and Disk. If any of these columns are about to reach 100%, that means that your computer is working hard due to lack of resources. Close a program that you don't need by highlighting it and by clicking on the End Task button at the bottom. When gaming, it is essential to keep your GPU drivers up to date. Check to see if your machine is running the latest recent driver versions. Drivers are miniature operating systems for a single piece of hardware. The graphics card, in particular, requires regular upgrades in order for Windows OS to play games efficiently. Here's are the steps to update your GPU drivers. Press the Windows key on the keyboard, type in Control Panel and select Control Panel. Change the view by drop down to small icons and click on Device Manager. Once the device manager is open, click the drop down for display adapters. Find your display adapter and right click on it. Select update driver. Select search automatically for drivers. If your game is still crashing, the next thing you may do is to fix the Call of Duty Warzone game files. This is accomplished by launching the Blizzard program. The scan and repair tool in the Battle.net launcher can fix game files related issues. Here's what you need to do. Open the Blizzard Battle.net desktop app. Click the icon of the game you are trying to repair. Click options. Click on scan and repair. Click begin scan. Wait for the repair to finish. Some individuals who had crashing troubles in Warzone blamed it on overclocking. I've never had a problem with my overclocked system in this game. But if none of the alternatives have worked, consider slowing down by stopping overclocking. Desync, often known as vertical sync, is a technique that ensures that a computer's frame rates match the refresh rate of its display. This technique was created largely to address screen tearing. However, having V-Sync enabled in some games, such as Modern Warfare or Warzone, may cause the game to crash. Although this is not a general problem with this game, it has been noted that merely eliminating V-Sync resolves the crashing issue. So it's worth a go. You may disable V-Sync if you have an NVIDIA graphics card by utilizing the NVIDIA Control Panel program. final fix that you should try is to reinstall the game. I understand that many people do not want to use this option since re-downloading the game is time consuming, but you should attempt it if nothing else in this tutorial has helped. The clean install can occasionally resolve deeper coding issues that the standard troubleshooting techniques cannot. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.